Seattle's Cafe of Vol is welcoming, even to a news camera right before closing time or a customer after hours. It's that kind of place. Thank you. I'll be back. Yeah, good seeing you again. Yeah, this is awesome. Having a good cup of coffee, enjoying their time here, feeling comfortable enough to stay here for four or five hours. Um, four or five hours? Yeah, there's some people that come here that they stay here for a while. Gavin Lopez is operations <laughs> manager at Cafe of Vol. There's not a lot of black coffee shops in Seattle. There's not a lot of black specialty coffee shops in Seattle, especially considering the fact that Ethiopia has some of the finest product. It yeah. is so busy, and part of that is because everybody loves the owner, Solomon Duby. He used to run the Rainier Mini Mart that was in this space. But Gavin started his coffee career elsewhere. I got hired at the Starbucks in the Columbia Tower. I didn't care too much for the corporate atmosphere. So I moved on. First, he moved on to a black owned coffee shop in the Central District. They had my back. They're like, oh, you know, you, you've experienced this too. I experienced this too. I'm the owner. He came here to expand a vol's reach. <laughs> Gavin's glad about his former employer's training. At least Starbucks is being accountable. I think uh, it's better than nothing. But he hopes for more. To me, if they really want to make real change, uh, I got to see it at the corporate, like the corporate level. I got to see it in the hiring practices. It turns out some shops don't need a half day bias busting crash course. I do know what it's like to walk around and uh, feel like I'm a threat, like you know, feel, feel paranoid because I have people staring at me. In Seattle, I'm Ryan Takeo, King 5 News.